Hello everyone and welcome. I hope you're having a fantastic day today and today we're going to take a look at a war hospital. So what is war hospital? You can look at it like frost punky World War One. Where our job basically is to run a triage station during World War One and try to save as many as we can while at the same time. My dear son, I was unable to stop the events that led to the fact that today I am going to the front and you are no longer there. You cannot imagine how much pain I carry in my heart. With your death, I question the sense of my continued existence. This must be some kind of joke. But fate throws me to a place where I might be able to save your colleagues and many others. I'm not gonna lie, that was a gorgeous cutscene. So, basically, our son died, and I think the son died. I don't know. Wasn't really that well explained. Hello, sir. My name is Grissing, the head doctor of this hospital. If I may speak freely, sir, we expected more than just an officer's rank to support our current situation. The Hun could break through our lines at any moment now. Head Doctor, mind your tongue. This is our new commander in charge. Sir, I'm delighted that someone with your experience is joining us. I recall your work in London very well. Praveen Kumar, head engineer. If you want something done, you should come to me, sir. Major Henry Wells. As you all know, I was directed here to manage this hospital. I will count on your professionalism regardless of your private opinions about me. If I may, sir, we have wounded that are already waiting in Casualty Clearing Station. We should tend to them first. Agreed. We should not let them wait any longer. To start, decisions must be made about their fate, sir. Their files are already waiting for you in Casualty Clearing Station. <laughs> Okay, so where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? Um, basically, we're a doctor and we've come here and our whole job is... Very well, sir. Now that the decision was taken, we can start operating on these patients. Our whole job basically is patients come here to the casualty clearing area. We have to select which one lives, which one dies. And I'm remembering this over here. So this is how many wounds they have, basically. I think you get, yeah, okay, go away. You can have one, two or three bullet holes. Like it doesn't do a very good job of explaining things. The tutorial a lot of it you have to work out yourself this is okay go away this is how many surgical supplies you're going to need this is how long the surgery is going to take this is how difficult the operation is and this is the chance of failure the more stars the more chance they have to die. This this guy's toast. Okay, so there are two glaring issues I do have with this game. 
and one of those is no push pause. If you're gonna make a game like this, give a push pause. That way, if anything pops up, you're trying to do something, just hit the space bar, and it will pause. Sign. Sign it. There we go. Okay. So, assignments. You assign people to spots, believe it or not. Each person will have, well, some of them will have preferences, some of them don't have preferences. Uh, yes, I know. I'm, get, I'm getting there. I'm moving ahead a little bit here. So you don't want to work at the casualty clearance station, you can go work at the cemetery. You don't have a preference, so you can go there. Now they will get tired over time and you will have to switch them out. If you like micromanagement, this is a great game for you. Scouts we don't have any yet. Sir, medics are on the way. Once you assign people, they will come out of the uh, staff lodging and they will go to their assigned spots. They are going to come here and carry him out to yeah, the surgery. The yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so doctors will get exhausted. If you, they get too exhausted, they will collapse and then they won't be good for a day. You have one, two, three, four slots in here for doctors. Sir, medics reach the cemetery. I mean, right now, you're allowed two doctors at once. I'm just gonna put that on fast forward. Over here, it will show Sir, you. I'm afraid it is dead. one of our patients oh, died yeah. during the operation. So they'll go and collect him. Was it a mistake or an oversight? And they will take him to no, sir. the cemetery. It was just bad luck. The patient was too weak to survive the operation, and we could do nothing more to save him. Maybe with better equipment, we could There's do something. No one assigned. I do have people signed. The sad reality is that we cannot save Anyway, the other issue is uh, there's no auto save. <laughs> and we need to prepare his body to be buried. So According in the, the event that HQ, either the game crashes or your computer crashes or something, all that work that you've put in is for naught. So if you do pick up this game, make sure you save regularly and you don't do like me where you spend two hours playing it and then leave the room and come back and your computer crashes and your entire game is gone. not good so the canteen Blakes. is Too many over here to home, I'm afraid. you can set the amount of food you order supplies from that Order supplies and personnel through the train station and they get delivered eventually. So right now it wants us to order 40 of them. Each one costs, there's different currencies down here. Well, there's different things down here. There's food, alcohol, and um, what are they? They are I don't know what they're called. Basically requisition points. And then here you have your medical supplies, you have your trauma medical supplies, and you have your chemical medical supplies. So as you can see, you can order food, alcohol, and all the supplies. It gets really expensive to order stuff through here. Okay, yeah, I know. And there's also no right click to get out of a menu either. To build things, basically you throw engineers in the building, click a sign, 
make sure you click a sign otherwise you'll be like me and you'll be sitting there for two hours looking at it going why isn't it being built i did that too because i'm special sir engineers reached the construction site we have our warehouse where we are limited by what it has sir, oh, new, new patients, patients have arrived Okay, come on, give me a second. Okay, close. Oh. Would prefer to work in the pharmacy. There you go, you can work in the pharmacy. You know what, you can work in... Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you see, you got that up, it won't let me, I mean, I suppose it lets, lets me left click. Okay, so, once again, here we go. So we got two gentlemen here, each one is under an hour. In the event that your um, doctors do get tired, you can set it to rest. Down here is basically uh, if someone comes in and they're too um, too damaged to continue life, you can drop them in the little folder there, and then they'll put them in the corner. And um, instead of operating on them, they will be making them comfortable. Sir, operation if you was successful. Get the meaning. Our trains here. Dropped off a bunch of supplies. <coughs> now the doctor can start. There's also. There's like little like frost punk things come up here as well. Okay. Where where this one is um. He's, he was able to fight off the infection, so we can choose to uh, do things properly, which will make a shorter rehabilitation for him, which we'll get to rehabilitation in a minute. Or we can just close up his wounds and hope for the best and save. But we're going to do things by the book. Because we're playing with Sir, patients and lives. Sir, doctor is going to rest. Sir, Up here, it does show how survived. many you saved versus how many you killed. Well, I mean, not killed. Um, how many you saved versus how many survived? Okay, so let's look here. Okay, they all look good. So they're all going to survive. We'll give him a difficult one, a not difficult one. As you can see here, as you place things here, they will get exhausted. Extremely exhausted. So after that, you can rest. You can bring up their cards here. Gives you a little, like, howdy-doody about what they are. I mean, it's a nice little war in there. You see things like, um, what is it? Divorce. I think I seen one that was like divorced, like five kids or something. <laughs> I sent him back home. I think he had enough rough, rough life. Okay, so this is where we have to decide now. This. Needs to be explained better. So I couldn't see anything in the manual or anything, but basically, these chevrons here are basically their combat power. 
And that will become important later. The M here is how much morale they're worth and how much um, intelligence. Military drafts, that's what it's called. Anyway, as you can see here, married, one child, former telephone operator, and emerging writer. Well, you know what? We'll send you to HQ. So basically here, as they rehabilitate, they'll be going the pending, and then you can click to send them to the trenches, send them to HQ, in which we'll get military drafts based on, well, how much worth they are, or we can send them home, which is, which will give them morale. Was successful. So we'll select there and then we'll just let them go back to HQ. We'll let these ones build up. Sir, patient is cured. Did you have your morale meter down here? They need better tooltips. They really do. Sir, operation was successful. There should be what? One more? Two more. And as I said, it does show up here. The operation that is going on. Um, if you have like two surges, there'll be two. If you have four, there'll be four pitches. Sir, operation was successful. Now we should have another four here, or three. So this is the thing, like, this needs to be explained better, because is red good? Is red bad? Is black good? Is black bad? I mean, I'm guessing more chevrons is good. But we're just gonna stack up these right now, because we need those, and we're not... Patient is cured. Dispatch from HQ, sir. Sir, our defensive line has been broken. Multiple casualties. The 36th Division is in retreat. Oh my! That is terrible news. Ah, another bunch of those poor bastards will be here soon. I'll better check our stocks. What about the hospital? Are we to evacuate the facility? No, sir. HQ gives us no such orders, sir. In fact, there were no orders for us. <sighs> sir, survivors from our forces in the north. Sir, patient is killed. Lieutenant Colonel Angus McFiddler. I'm sure I can even get first now yet. No, it won't let me yet. Commanding the 36th. My orders are to set up a temporary line of defense north of here, but I will not be able to... So basically what he's saying is, oh, our doctor collapsed too, so... Things ain't looking good here. But basically what he's saying... I understand. Is that he's setting up a trench Kelly. just outside the hospital? He is many of the hospital, soldiers from the front line. The hospital is, is about to be on the front line. Having them reinforce our defensive line will help our men significantly. How many do you need? As many as you can provide, I'm afraid. Intelligence reports suggest that Germans will launch an attack on our position on the 8th of June, probably around noon. What about reinforcements from HQ? There will be none. Not until the 21st of June, at least. HQ is gathering forces and regrouping for a major counter-offensive. Our orders are to survive on our own till that day. <laughs> on our own? This is a hospital, not a military camp. How do they expect us to manage that? We will be given the best intelligence reports they have. We will know about every attack and the estimated size of the attacking force in advance. That's the best HQ can give us. I understand, Lieutenant Colonel. There are old trenches nearby. You can set up defenses there. We will try to send enough men to survive enemy attacks. <laughs> okay, so...
Alma here. He's um He's really gonna be attached to his land. Because mm, chances of failure are certain. Which means Where did you go? You go in the folder. So basically him here in the folder, they are going to fill him full of morphine and be like, hey, have a good day. Okay. <clears throat> so our doctor's exhausted and collapsed. <coughs> And there's our mission, is to survive till the 21st. It is... Okay, so now it wants me to hire another surgeon, which is good. Oh, it wants me... These are the trenches. You do see, like, guys in here now and then. Sir, new patient arrived. There they are. Okay, so we do need to get another surgeon in, so I have personnel. Give me a doctor. He's gonna be here in three hours. Making medical supplies. Yes, I know my doctor collapsed. He's. I think they're getting ready to collapse too, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. We'll take you out. Take you out for now. Oh, my nurses. My nurses are good. My medical teams are good. Yeah. See those little red things above a building? It means that the people's is a little exhausted. And that you need to rest. Later on, I think there is a shift system. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. So you there, you there. You there. You there. You still got a day. Okay, so building improvements. See, this is where you need push pause. Building improvements, building improvements, camp improvements. Here we go. So your camp improvements is basically your tech tree. Your engineers will basically build things. Where did that go? There it is. Just gonna see there's ones for healing, basically trauma wards. All the way up to Afli Rescue. And the shift system is here. I do want that next. And then there's one here that has to do with housing to basically Decrease their rest, have the end. add more people. Production is, well, all about production. And scouting is something that you get further in the story. Sir, engineers reached the construction site. And then what's going to happen is they're going to build a tent while there's operations going on, and they're going to kick up a whole bunch of dust because... Well, why not? Oh, I need to get some more men to the front. Do I have anyone? No, I don't. 
So this is basically so, new patients are what's going on. Every time there's going to be an enemy attack, there will be this symbol. Red means bad. Sir, we lost this patient. Oh, he died. Anyway, red means bad. Sir? Me Blue means good. May I have a word with you? <sighs> Certainly. Tell me what's on your mind. I was approached today by one of the civilians that stayed in the city. A man named Theo Blank. He was a stonemason here. According to his words, he customarily made a tombstone for each person buried in the cemetery. But with cemetery requisitioned by the military and so many deceased, he will not be able to because of the sheer amount of work. Well, that is certainly sad. But I don't see anything we could do to help him. Well, I think I have a kind of solution to this problem, sir. There is a significantly seized rock in the cemetery. We could use it to make a sort of memorial stone and carve there the name of each person died or that will die in the future. Mr. Theo Blank volunteered to prepare the stone and carve the name each time the person dies. All that is needed, sir, is your permission. So this is basically that little rock there will become a memorial, but not that's going to matter because I think I'm bunked anyway. So I should have sent a couple of people to the trenches. Okay. Yeah, I'm bunked. Sir, we lost this patient. Oh my god. On the way. Yeah, I Sir, just know. Medics reach the casualty clearing. Having the luck right now. Sir, operation was successful. Okay. Come on, get him here. Sir, I am happy to report that Mr. Blank finished the memorial stone. It is ready now. If you would like to examine it, it awaits at the cemetery. <laughs> this is that rock? Oh, it's going to be a close battle. So yeah, so orange means it's going to be close. Blue means you're going to win easily. Sir, new patient arrived. Oh, well, you're um going in the folder. here means that they're gonna get out of rehabilitation. Sir, operation was successful. Oh, there's another one alive. Guess where you're going? Oh, now it's green, which means we have a good defense. Sir, patient is cured. The next level after that is a blue. Medics are on the way. 
Okay, maybe I'm not quite bunked like I thought I was. Sir, medics reached the cemetery. Okay, so he's almost good. We're gonna search his rest there. Sir, patient is cured. Yay! I need to fix up my damn morale. It's more of them going. I thought, okay, you know what? I bet I had him in there. Actually, found nearby, likely hit by... Uh, do, 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 do. You can go do that. So you're not going to be available for 12 hours. Nobody in there, nobody in there. Sir, we lost this patient. Uh, lost another one. Normally I'm like on the positive, but I mean, eh, life hates me. Okay, so you can go to the front. Oh, so we have operation. I like your operations. And this is what happens when you get attacked. Wounded soldier. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been War Hospital. I think I'll uh, make a couple more episodes of this as I go along. And uh, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and have a good one.